There's been a great deal of noise around neo battery materials recently, and you've had a series of news releases, starting with your most recent one about the South Korean silicon anode commercial plant. Would you like to start there? Yes. So we've actually just made our final contract with our preferred contractor in South Korea. So by mid-August, so just next month, we will start our pre-construction phase. This involves the site clearance as well as the basic foundational work as well as civil engineering. So uh, we want to get right to work so that we can have our commercial plant commercialized by the first half of 2024. And I believe that this uh, preferred contractor as well as the final contract has come at the right time so that we can accelerate our silicon and commercialization at the right time, Tracy. And if I recall, you're not just working on a plant in South Korea, you're also working on one in the United States. Is that correct? Yes, that is right. So in Cincinnati, Ohio, we've actually set up our uh, private American subsidiary called MBM America LLC, in which we are going to open an R&D facility to have better facilitation of our materials as well as sample evaluations, better relationship building in the U.S. and other North American players. But also on top of this, in Canada, we are either considering Ontario or Quebec to build another R&D facility so that we can have greater contact points with battery manufacturers that are constructing gigafactories in Ontario and other battery material players that are going to be crucial in the Canadian EV battery supply chain as well. You've had tremendous success with your R&D programs. You recently announced, when I say recent, you've had numerous news releases just this month that you're going to upsize your South Korean R&D scale-up center for pre-commercialization development. How about you just explain to our listeners who probably knew to Neo battery materials and going, hey, look at the stock. Yes. <laughs> Let's find out more. Tell us more about what you're planning to do there. Yes. Uh, so in a short form, our space wasn't enough to handle what we are capable of. So our pipeline in terms of our customer pipeline, as well as our material evaluation pipeline, they have been growing ever since we initiated our R&D. So to have much more production capacity, as well as evaluation equipment, uh, we'll be moving on to uh, Yonggi Techno Park, which is a much larger facility that will be able to accommodate the needs that we have in terms of material production, as well as better relationship building, because we are being located in one of the epicenters of battery production, as well as battery research in South Korea. So we believe that this will be uh, the necessary crucial step before we go on to our commercial plant in 2024. And for those of you waiting for me to ask Danny what to anticipate in this upcoming quarter, I'm not going to do that. We're going to interview you again in the next three to four weeks, and then we're going to ask you then. I recommend everybody go to the Neo Battery Materials website immediately just to catch up on the news from the last four weeks. Thank you so much, Danny, for taking time out of your busy schedule to provide us with an update on Neo Battery Materials. Thank you so much, Tracy.